Welcome back everyone to the channel. I hope everyone here is doing amazing. I hope everyone here is living their best life as always. And if you're not, that's okay. Just keep moving forward. I promise you things will get better. Just weather the storm as best as you can. And I assure you that everything will get better. And if you're down, you know, leave a comment in the chat, join the discord. We're all a family here. We'll help you out. Good vibes, good vibes here. All right, we're sitting ninth in the world. We've been playing well, 64% win rate, 111 games played. Pretty nice, pretty nice. You feel good about where we are. I mean, we're kind of that next player. If you look at the win rates, like they got these top three here, the 270s. And shout out to Bump Set Spike, who's actually a member of the Discord. Shout out to you, man. 2393, great accomplishment, number one. These 70s, if they're gonna start playing a few more games, to see whoever's going to get to that 2400 first. We're sitting in a good spot. We've won like six in a row now. And that the one game that we lost, we, we finished on 14 points and it really came down to the roles. And I think I really did review that game. I listened to the comments and I think a big weakness of ours is not just building to the win. Sometimes I just try. I feel like if I secure, you know, maybe one VP or then I can, I can win the game 100%. But I've also got a really good percentage of just building to the win. So I was porting too many, too many materials for dev cards and we'll correct those mistakes and hopefully we can keep running good. All right, let's get into the first game, guys. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. We are at 9,400 subscribers right now as I'm filming this video. So we're 600 away guys from 10K. So smash the subscribe button and let's get into the first game. Okay, and we are in against Mr. Beast. We faced Mr. Beast a couple times before. Yes, I know it's Mr. Bios for those of you who don't understand the humor. All right, first of all, I wanna give a big shout out to our recent donators. Shout out to Alexandru Florin Pop who actually has 150K plus subscribers on his channel. So shout out to you, man. Shout out to D. Ayub, I'm not sure what the D stands for, but D Ayub and Thomas Suggett. Shout out to you three, really appreciate it. If you wanna leave a cheeky donation, go in the description, it's right there. Okay, let's look at this board because we've literally got 45 seconds. It's looking like I could play some sort of all wheat sheep. It's not bad. I wonder if you wanna take, mm, 8, 4, 10 is quite nice as well. You build into the extra wheat. He kind of struggles for wheat. I suppose he plays some sort of nine, five, ten here. This also kind of cuts everything out, but I give him maybe eight, three, four, which isn't so great. Hmm. Okay. Sheep is a bit of an issue. This into this is a big play. You wonder, I mean, he's surely taking nine, five, 10, right? We need one, four. All right. I feel like I didn't give myself enough time there, but I think this is probably our best play. We want him to take nine, five, 10. He obviously starts with the nine. He needs a big 10 roll. We need a four roll. We both start with a free road. I can cut him out of it, but then I feel like he takes some sort of six, five, 11. I don't particularly love that. Maybe not. I mean, he could just play eight, three, four. I like the fact that we build into the nine, three, four. That seems really good to me. Maybe he plays like four, five, 11, but nine, five, 10 just seems the best. All we need is a four and a three or 10. That's literally it. He needs, he's going to need a nine, a 10. Yeah, he's going to need a nine and a 10. Hmm. We still build into the extra weight. I think this is always the play here. The wheat port's there, like nine, three, four is good. We can get lucky with a four rolls early. All right, let's run it. Oh, damn it. <laughs> the 10 rolls straight away. Oh no. Oh no. He commits, he still needs a nine. We could definitely get a four here. Five, come on, don't roll the nine here. Please don't roll the nine. Damn it. All right, we still have the extra stuff. I wonder if he builds another road. Surely not. Like four, five, 11 is, it's good, but it's not doing a whole lot. That's a beautiful roll as well. Uh, these fives are hundred percent an issue. I got to hit this ore. Nice. We do steal an ore. So four puts us over. We got to secure this now. 11, 11 is not good. Damn it. <laughs> what are these rolls right here? Oh no. So zero fours, four puts me over, damn. Sevens rolled one, once, yeah, not a good start. We actually have to hold here. Two, another seven. Okay, so we're gonna be two sevens down here. Still no four as well. I do, should we just go for it? Almost think this is better. He's gonna block my six, so I'm basically sitting, sitting a three, four. All right. 
Oh my, that would have been so nice to grab two order. Eight is good. Eleven. Ten. Wow, we get another city. Wow. The four has still not rolled though. But this is nice. There we go. That's a big roll. Big block as well. Okay, we're getting away with some stuff here. I would have loved... To, I mean, I can get 3, 10, 11, but... Yeah, this keeps him off the 9. Gives me extra sheep. I just worry about the plow here. Alright, we'll go for it. We don't really don't want to lose this sheep, but that 7 is just inevitable. We have extra ore now, which is good. This is just an awkward road because he can't really do anything with it. We need to make sure we secure this saddle. Nice 10. Another four would be beautiful. Let's hope he doesn't have a road builder. 11. Mono's both my weights, and now he's got two cities. Pops instead. Nice seven. I think we'll just hit the five here. Grab an ore. It's my eight. Nice block. We've rolled a ton of sevens. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Oh, gets the eight block, gets the six block. All right, this is not good now. 10. He's going to continue to pop. If we can secure 934, I feel good. He still has zero cities. All right, we go for a big four roll or eight. All right. Seven would be nice. That's not good. So here comes maybe a yop or a road builder. That would suck so much. Nope. He continues to buy devs. We did need that. I, I need to get this spot, but unfortunately it's kind of evading us. Maybe we can get a three or a 10 and port the wood here. So let's hold. Ah, that's probably the one roll right there. Like that gives in the brick, yeah, far out. He's left a road kind of there, but it's just awkward. I'm wasting too many roads and I just haven't been able to get any rolls off. Okay. Another knight is good. Like I just have he doesn't have any cities, that is true. So he's kind of wasted a lot of stuff on pops. Maybe some VPs. Nope, another mono. Alright, so we're getting screwed here. But there is a chance there is a world in which we take road and army. And that five didn't really do a whole lot for him. There we go. That's the role we needed. That is the role we needed. And this road is really awkward. It's just very awkward. But now we don't have the extra weight. Oh, that's an interesting move, man. Don't seven me here. Nice. So I think what I'm actually going to do is take road. I don't mind grabbing 3-8 right now either. Is that just the better move? Hmm. The wheat port, the eights become big. We get the, th the double three. I, I will do this. I can also just grab... You know what? Let, this is what my gut's telling me. We can get a few eights. It's big. There we go. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, let's hold this wood. See if we can get another knight here. Nice. All the monos are gone. A lot of rolls put me over. That is a bit of an issue, but I love that he steals wood and not, and not anything else. Six. So he's clearly got a VP, but... We have army and we can take road as well with one, four, seven. Don't mind this. Let's just continue to buy devs. The VPs are actually good at this point. Yeah, this is fine. Nice. Ten's fine. This is a spot where I think we've played, a, we've rolled a lot of seven. So I'm going to actually play the knight. Just a bit of a calculated risk. If eight rolls, it's big. Four is beautiful. And I think we just secure a road here. I don't see anything wrong with it at all. He's not going to build two roads out here, is he? I don't think so. So should we just wait for another brick? Hmm. I'm holding a lot of wood. I don't want to port the sheep. Yeah, okay, this is fine. Let's just, let's secure it. You feel good about that. We've obviously got army as well. The sixes are rolling. All we need is an eight. Nine is a big roll. Nine is a big roll. But he sevens out. Beautiful. If we can seal the sheep here, I feel like we've got this game on lock. Damn. He is able to get a dev off. And zero cards. Eight rolls way too big here, but I think we have to take this risk of rolling. Nine. Okay, so we've got a chance of getting wheat. 
Hit the five, of course. We need this what? This is what? 66% chance. We need the wheat. Nice. Give me a knight. Perfect. Nah, okay. He doesn't have any knights. He's got two non-knights. That is the most beautiful roll ever. Let's just secure army. Knight. Another VP would actually be perfect. Perfect. All right, nice. 12 points. Road is secure. Army is secure. Secure-ish. We're coming for 411. Seems like he's going to get an ore here. That's fine. Uh, he's actually lacking wheat. Maybe I just hit the five. It's kind of a nasty roll, right? There we go. And he must have two VPs. Maybe a road builder? Potentially. Nine, that's a big roll for him. But he sevens out. Okay. So we have a big advantage right now. He only stole the wood, which is perfect. Uh, he just got it all his ore. Wow. Okay, we'll hit the five. Nice. Here we just take city. Yeah, I like just juicing everything up here. I mean, this isn't bad, but that 11's kind of nice. He does have knight. He plays it. There's that 11 coming in. All right. Now we hit five. Get a brick. Seven. Six is kind of valid here. Okay. Damn. Damn. Our wheat's gone now. Oh, is there a way we lose army here? Surely not. Oh, that's a big eight block. That's nice. We don't have the three to one. Obviously, monos aren't in play. We just need some sort of roll to, to be able to port here. We just need, we need one knight, surely. Nine. Uh-oh, there's one dev. I think, I think he's missing sheep. Yep, there's another dev. All right, that's such a big roll. You guys don't even understand. All right, we have to try secure army, but everything in the deck is good. I'm pretty sure it's mainly just knights. Both monos are out. Maybe we could get a yop. There we go, there's the yop. Dip in again, because we need to secure army. Okay. Now it's a little bit awkward, but we still have another chance to get army here. Unless he pulls literally four knights. But we know two of them are VPs. Doesn't play anything. Road builds. Interesting. Well, we can just win here with a city. Uh, or a settle, right? Do we just have a quick settle? We don't actually have a quick settle here. Surely there's a way to win this, no? With this hand? There's not. Okay. Well, let's get the last knight. Nice. And we'll just extend road. Two. There's the knight. So it was my sheep. There's literally just knights left and maybe like a road builder. Do this. He's only got one city. Sure. Get the sheep back. All right, any roll wins, basically. Except that. He has two VPs, probably another knight. If I pop, it's another knight. I think I'm just holding again. All we need to do is grab a saddle here, right? Oh my gosh. It keeps evading us. 11. 9. He can't even settle. He takes the last dev, which was a yop, I think. Okay. All right. Three is winning. That's about it. Nine? No. What is going on? Okay, he leaves the game. Maybe he's just done. Ten. That ends it. He needs to play a knight and steal the wheat out of my hand. Okay, the bot's taken over. He's going to play the knight, not the wheat. There we go. I guess he could take road and be annoying. Oh my gosh. Seven. Sheep. We can't actually win. We'll do that. Ten. There we go. There we go. We get the win. Another big win, guys. We are doing nothing but winning, quite literally. Does that change much on the leaderboard? I don't think so. Let's have a look. Nah, we just move up one spot. But we're two wins away from hitting 2,300 now. And we're getting 3% every win. All right, let's get it. Let's keep going. On to the next one. All right, we're in the second game. Looks like 694 is going to go here. That's pretty bad for us. How can we create some type of advantage? 6-2 is just death as well. Yeah, I mean, the wheat maybe is an issue for him. 
just maybe we could potentially play 8 5 10 8 4 3 and then build into 6 3 then maybe the 6 2 that'll force him into a 8 4 3 but the wood pot's just nasty isn't it whoa whoa so he's gonna say i'm gonna take this big daddy spot right and now we're in the position of like what do we play with the wheat what are your thoughts on this and taking the double wheat here with maybe something like this or this We'll leave him like something like 854, but we do have double wheat in the best ore building into something like 692. We are, we are on the threes. Otherwise, you take the 694. The sheep is quite a nice advantage. Uh, he, maybe he's looking at the 695 here. I can play 843, but... Hmm. I think we're going to take this no matter what. Maybe there was an idea there where we just take the three. Mm, this is not so easy. I still think this is a great pick for us. This 8, 5, 10 plows. Huh. We still have a clear advantage here. I'm, I'm starting to think 6, 4, 3 might have been a little bit better. The 8, 4, 3 is not bad though. I just give him a lot of space here. Play without the wheat, guys. He's going to take 8, 5, 10 into 11, 5, 4. I guess the 6, 9, 5 beats us there maybe either as well. All right, let's run this 843. Let's play with the four here. If he takes 6113 plow, I don't actually mind it. I do give him a lot here. Maybe this was actually a bit of a trap that we just put ourselves in. It's all right. Maybe we can get we can pro probably get the wood port, right? We'll hold here. Okay, let's see. All we need is a yop or a road builder mono first tev and we win this game. Can we get it? Nope. It's not going to be that game, even though the four is rolling here, which is perfect for us. He hasn't, he hasn't gotten a roll yet. He actually hasn't gotten a roll yet. We produce a lot of wood. Like, I think we can get to the, the wood port pretty fast or even three, six, eleven, right? I don't hate our prospects here. 10. Okay. He's starting to get some rolls now. 10 and eight, five, nine. He should settle here. Nice. I, like, there's a good chance I can steal brick as well, no? Let's go in for the six. Would have loved to have got anything other than a VP as well. But we're going to have 3611 soon. Yeah, I mean, I can port here. Hmm. I can port my shape here. I think this is the way. There's our settle. 10 does roll. Let's just take it. There's been barely any sixes. Nice four. No funny business, right? All right, that's his last saddle. So that's something, right? The wood port's going to be great for us. We've got, he's got zero ore, but he does have two ports. There's the six. All right, seven's big. Five's the hit. We also get a brick, which is nice. I'd love to just build a road, but I also am a little bit scared here. The thing is three and four, six and four put me over and three. I just scared that he rolls seven and steals my ore. So let's pass. All we need is a nine, three. Yeah, so there's the seven. We lose the wheat, so at least it's not the ore. 10 is nasty. He actually blocked the four. That's a weird roll, ah, that five kills. He should just port for an ore here. He actually pops though. Please can that not be a VP? We roll that six. If that's a mono, we're, we're pretty much done. Come in for the wood port here. Nine or three. Ah, the 10. Nasty work. He plays the knight as well. Misses on the steel. That's big. Pops again. Well, that brick might have actually given, given him the city. It's possible. All right, roll the seven. Perfect. Okay, that's a big seven. I think it's got to be the five still, even though he rolled that five. Nice. We get the ore. That's such a big steal. And he, play, and he played the aggressive knight. That's the downside to those plays when you miss. Eight. So now his hand's real stuck, right? Oh no, he got it. Okay. Okay. It's starting to get bad now. Hit, that's when it starts to get bad. Nine is good. All right. We need this city before the seven happens. Because I also don't want to give him ore. Big block. Four rolls. That is our city. 
the perfect roll here. Has to, has to be 694. Has to be. Can we get a six and another four? Big blocks. Now it's about who gets the knights. But this isn't this isn't great for us. Nine's a good roll. Pads our hand a little bit. Hopefully he doesn't steal the ore here. Damn. Four's a great block. I'd be blocking the six though. He does pop. And here the fives just hurt too much. Oh man, another one. Yeah, yeah. We we might have just got trapped a little bit. Maybe 643 is a little bit better. The second city. Like I still like our position. These fives just hurt way too much though. Yeah, 10. Another five and like you're done. All right. Road builder. Yeah, and like these are all the cards we need. He leaves 5-11-4 though, which is interesting. All right, we do get a knight here, hopefully. Yop. It could be worse. The five is going to really hurt when it rolls. Seven's going to suck here as well. Four, that's a big block for him. 11-5-4 is really good, man. Can he secure it with any roll? I think he can. Hmm. Okay. Let's do this. Knight. Mono. Road. Right, as long as that five didn't roll then. We could secure a road and army. Doesn't look great though, does it? Doesn't look great for us. The mono can be used on the brick. Imagine if he passes here. All right, he's going to do that. That's okay. He's still got a lot of... Okay, there's the brick. 3, 10, 11 happens. Have to roll here. We roll seven anyway. Got to be the five. He's got zero cards. We got to come in for this. 10, kind of, Loki. Mm. Okay. No, oh, seven doesn't really matter. Still got to hit five here. Maybe the eight. Oh, that 10 hurts so much. My God. Six. Okay. Seven. Holy. I really don't want to port my ore here, man, but we got to secure this position. Fours are big. I still got the mono. This takes road. 11. He ports and pops. Six. Damn. Basically, if he rolls a five this turn, then he's going to have all this big connect. So I, I worry a little bit. He doesn't have the mono. As long as he doesn't roll five or like eight this turn, eight will probably do it. I could just port my ore for a wood, but it just feels so gross. I think we have to just take a risk here. Four, nice. That's a big roll. Okay, he's going to have two roads. One, two, three, four. I can still cut him off and have a chance. And now this road's low-key kind of awkward. All right, don't seven me. Five, nice. I think we do just cut him off here. It gives us a shot at road. He has four roads wasted. Yeah, I think we have to, right? Question is taking this next city. Let's go for it. Still have that mono. Six is nice. He's gonna pop. Another six roll. Damn. He's gonna have army here though. That's the issue. We have to just port for a wait. No knight. Knight gets played. Don't steal the wait. So there's a brick. 11, pops again. Seven's nice. Okay. Now it's a battle for this road. Maybe I want to grab a knight here. I think we have to. Nice. Do that. Gets the brick, eight. He's probably at 14 here. One, two, three, four, five settles though. Do I want to hit this five? Dude, low key, I got to just hit this. Okay. We need fours. 
Nine is not so bad. We get to buy another dev here. Knight, VP. Four's big. We need that. Okay, eight or ten, we mono the brick. There we go. Let's go ahead and take all that brick. All right. So he's going to loop that way. Hmm. I locate, I need this knight. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, the only way I get wood is from that four though. Okay, let's take road and let's play a little safer here. The two, perfect. He can't do anything. Give us a four here. Give us a four. Six is also nice. All right. Just wish I had a little bit of wood. Like, is the saddle just better? If he does this road, I can still come out here. So it's not the worst if he plows me. Okay. Knight. Good. All right. Four. Three. He might plow me here, but I don't think it's actually that bad. He has to decide whether he pops or he's going to pop. And he goes that way. Yeah, it's because he wants to defend the road. Okay. Eight. We're so close here, man. So close here. We have to play the knight. Do get a brick. Damn. Have I screwed myself? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. He can't get all that way. 9, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, we, gotta, we gotta pop. VP. Come on, give me a knight. There we go. He could have a... He could have something else. Plays the knight. Rolls a seven. What's he gonna do here? Builds the road. Loki gotta hit the eight. Nine. Knight. Yeah, that's that's GG. Pops again. Eight. Is 10 roads the max amount I need to hold road? I think it is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, is this still alive? Three. He pops. He's probably at 13. Damn, the 10, really? Ugh, sheep mono. Plays a knight. He's looking for VPs. Ports for everything. Okay. Well, road is secure. Seven. Guess we'll find out what he's got. Hit that. Does he have another knight? Doesn't. Five rolls. So he's at 14. Six. Could settle a couple times to make this interesting. Is that GG? Oh my gosh, do we have rolls here? A six? Oh my gosh, eight. We've got one subtle. Oh my god, we've got it. We've actually got it. Well, that was that was so poorly played, but we won. What on earth? What on earth? How on earth did we win that? He only had one VP. What did he have? A road builder? Dude, I have no idea. That was just so confusing, that game. I'm aware there was so many mistakes. I am so aware that we made so many mistakes. Let's just go back to it. I was just super confused that whole game. 
And with the time going down as well, it felt so weird. Oh, he was actually at 14 here. So this was a big play in the game, the mono. So that I mono all his brick. I take the road, two rolls, six. And all I do was, all I do here is buy a dev, but I'm coming for army. So he has to make a decision. If he actually just, oh, one, he can't settle. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, he can't settle. So he has to buy the dev and it's a knight. If that was a VP there, that would be interesting. So he buys that, he gets the knight, he defends that road. So the max amount we can both get to is 10 here. You can only build two more roads here. So the max amount is 10. For some reason that was confusing me. And in this spot, we roll an eight. So buying, I think playing the knight there was fine because he might've gotten a VP. Then I was just panicking. I built this road. So he, there was no like funny business. Yeah, I just need to build one more road. But I bought a dev. It was the VP, which actually was good for us. And then I just went again, just in case he had two VPs and I pull another knight. But can he not just, ah, oh man, this was, I needed to build another road. But at the same time, he might not have army. So it's like, and then what happens? He plays a knight, steals my ore, but rolls a seven. He steals a wood here. So he misplays because he has a decision as well. Do I buy a knight? Because I might have two knights. Or do I take the road? For, if you're him, you should just take the road, no? So he decides to port for the wheat and pop and build one road. Then we play the knight. We still a wood, roll a nine. We don't even, no one builds the road for ages. He has three sheep. He plays the knight, steals a wood. Oh my gosh, all he literally needs to do here, but he decides to go for another dev because he obviously doesn't know what I have. And then pops again, gets the road builder. I roll the eight, but, and now we made the crucial move there to, to build a road. Cause then I finally work out that tens the max. I was getting all confused. Oh, that game was just a mess. Yeah. And then he's just popping for whatever. So he's holding the road builder that whole time, but it doesn't matter. Cause he only, yeah. So he can't settle, so he needs to port everything for the city. We roll, he, we roll seven, which is perfect for us. Block is five, five rolls. So he now has five wood. We still have this terrible hand and then we get the perfect roll. So six, we port that, we get the three to one. All we need to do is settle city. Four, that's like the perfect roll for us. He literally only has some roads and no three to one. So he can't actually settle here no matter what he does or take road and eight did it. Eight was the perfect roll for us. It nearly clears our hand perfectly. Does six do it? Eight does it, but does six? I think six does it because we can three for one our ore and then three for one our wood. Yeah. So six is winning. Four is obviously winning. Nine? Nine rolls we can... No, nine's... Yeah, no, nine we can three for one for a brick then three for one our wood for a saddle. Yeah. Oh, we have the wood port. Hang on. We have the wood port. Yeah, no, nine is winning because I can three for one my sheep for a brick and then use the wood port for the wheat. So three, so, so three, nine, four, six, eight. Yeah, 11's winning. Oh, I had so many winning rolls, actually. It was just seven, 10, five is five. I think five's winning as well. Five wood, that should do it. Yeah, five is winning. Man, that was an insane game. Oh my gosh, we got bailed out there. But all right, guys, that's going to be it for today. Appreciate you watching as always. We're doing really well on a big win streak. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.